Thoughts from the skipper Aaron Boone on uh, Luis Severino. Our Meredith Morakovitz talked about the starting pitcher in her opening question. Did you continue to see improvement in Severino? I did. It's the best fastball he's had. That's that, that's that's first half of the year dominant fastball. You know, the, the slider was still a little inconsistent for him. Um, but I thought stuff-wise and, and being able to pitch with his fastball, uh, it was electric. Um, you know, and so hopefully another step forward for him. When you say best fastball you've seen in a while, what's different about it that you weren't seeing the past couple of starts? Well, the velocity was there, but the life, the ability to pitch both at the bottom of the zone and the top of the zone, you saw guys really having to cheat to catch up with it. They were able to foul a lot of pitches off, so, so driving his pitch count up. But, and, and, you know, he was a little in and out with his slider, which, which I thought came around a little bit for him late. Um, but the fastball all night, just from the side, it just had that life we've been looking for. I thought he had a better one last time out. Um, tonight was even better. The last two leave you encouraged when it comes to him? It does. Um, hopefully another big step forward for him and, and building momentum. Um, I like his demeanor and, and attack mode kind of on the mound. There was, a, there was a pace and an intensity to what he was doing. So, um, you know, hopefully uh, another one to build on. It's gone, I believe, just six or more, one out of his last yeah. nine starts. Were you hoping yeah. to get him through that sixth inning before that error there? Yeah, but that's, you know, that's the next step. You know, hopefully as he continues to build momentum, builds more and more confidence, um, you know, he'll get back to that point to where he can get us deeper into games. What did you see in that uh, sixth inning Glaber error? Uh, just a really slow developing play, and, um, you know, it's it's one of those you got to really fight to get around, and, and uh and, and kind of get on balance enough to where you can make an accurate throw and it just kind of tailed on him. Have you learned anything about Luke Voigt this road trip? <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, he can hit. And he, he's, uh, you know, uh, obviously more real quality at bats tonight. Um, obviously the home run to get us going. So, uh, you know, definitely uh, uh, earn his key period and, and, and having an impact on us winning some games. Get home, three head out west. How does this sweep set you up for what's to come? Look, this was this was really nice, and I and I thought tonight, honestly, I thought we were dragging a little bit, a little bit, um, you know, just just with the road trip and, and the double header yesterday. Um, so for us to be able to grind that win out, wanting to stay away from a couple guys in the pen, um, I thought guys really, really grinded to hang on there, and and uh, you know, hopefully we can get some guys some rest and. and start a big, big series tomorrow against a really hot pitcher for the White Sox. Aaron, Luke said that this is the first time in his career that he's had consistent at-bats game after game. How much difference can that make in a hitter? Well, I mean, that's what that's what you're all that's what you're working for. That's as a as a baseball player, as a position player, you know, you you want to get consistent at bats, and and uh, you know, there's there's no question that you can build a little bit of a rhythm and 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 have a better opportunity to keep your timing, and uh, you know when he's gotten his opportunities, he's he's making the most of them. You think he can feel it all knowing that Birdie's struggling? You think Boyd can be it can help him at all knowing that Birdie's struggling? There's an opportunity there, and if he does well, he can get consistent at bats rather than just playing once a week or so. You know what? I, look, he's he he's got a little confidence and a little swagger to his step, so I think he he comes in with an anticipation that he's going to be successful. So, um, re you know, regardless of the situation, you know, I think he's a guy that believes he can hit. I think he believes he can hit in this league. And, uh, you know, with his opportunities with us so far, he's shown that. But Carlos uh, been, had a rough week yet or so. Is that just a rough week, or do you think he might be paying the price for having to play every day, you know, in the absence of Judge and other guys? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, you know, in checking with him after the game today, because that's something I do just as, as we've gone through with this kind of nursing this leg thing tonight, you know, he, he kind of said, no, I was good. I was just didn't get it done tonight and, and came out of this, you know, being the first one he was back in right field again. And he actually came out of it well. Um, you know, there's no doubt this is a tough stretch. Um, but, um, you know, Hopefully we can continue to protect him through that DH spot, and I think in a way, when we give him a lot of those, it, it kind of works itself as not so much the everyday grind of going out in the outfield. Do you think 300's weighing on him at all? I don't think so. Um, I thought he was going to get it tonight. I thought he got some pitches um, to to hit, but I, I don't think so. He's you know he's so 
He's shown me all year he's so mentally tough and just able to compartmentalize and focus really well and, and just really disciplined to his routine. So who's to say? I, I, I don't think so. But, you know, naturally that, you know, as, you know, as, it, as the days pass for a pretty good milestone, you know, I understand the question. Cleaver has... We're staying away from Dellen today. It would have been his third in a row. Um, you know, I, I was, I, I would have potentially used him to clean up the eighth if, if, if Britain's pitch count got up or, or maybe even in the ninth there. But we're going to do our best to kind of stay away from Dellen. You know, it, had we run him out there a third time in a row, we probably would have had him down a couple of days in a row. So as best we could tonight, we were going to stay away from him. Labor has four errors in six games this short. Will you consider playing Torres there at all? Um, Probably not. I, I mean, if I give, if I were to give um, Glaber a day off, I, I'm, I, I might, I would put Toe out there. But if they're both in the lineup, I would, I would keep Glaber at short for now. Do you have any uh, has, hesitancy is the right word, but just, just with Robertson matched up with Villar again, and uh, you know that's, he did hit the home run off him, right? Did, am I, I no, I know the other has, night. No hesitation okay. with, with him versus the, no. Thank you, everybody.